Uh-huh. Come on, peace to my corner. When it's the Cater Killers, that's rich and famous. For acting like your bakery bake stacks. Get your cake snatched and your bride too. Money can't replace that. Run, but you can't hide the games that you play or get you viewed by a car and a coward. This is my corner. Come on, peace to my corner. What's good, Fight Fans? This is Ashley's Corner. And I've got to talk about the this anticipation <laughs> for this clash in between the the best in the junior welterweight division. I mean, Julius Ndongo versus Terrence Crawford is history in the making, and I wanted everybody to know that it really is. Like, this, it, it feels like this for a reason. Um, I did my research on... Um, on uh the hundred and forty pound weight class to see who else has unified and, and gotten all titles and um when I when I did my research the WBA and the WBC um were the only titles to be had before um nineteen eighty three. Nineteen eighty three is when the IBF uh started its uh its organization and the WBO was founded in nineteen eighty eight. And the IBO was founded in 1988 as well. So these four are the only for these top four are the only ones that were um, that were considered um, undisputed champions. The last one, however, um, had three out of four belts because in 1988 he did not get the WBO belt. So it was only four other people, and you see, it's been 50 years. It's been half a century since. Excuse me. Since there was a, a undisputed champion at 140 pounds, and when there was an undisputed champion, there were only two belts. It wasn't four. Well, technically, this is five belts because um, Julius Ndongo uh, has the IBO, WBA, and IBF belt. So, I mean, this is this is history in the making. This I can't I cannot wait for this fight. And um, I, it's this is going to be fireworks. I just know it. Bud Crawford is thirty one and O, and he has twenty two KOs. His percent, knockout percentage is seventy one percent, and he has fought for one hundred and sixty five rounds. He is the WBO and WBC champion. He's twenty nine years old, five eight and seventy inches on his reach. And he was fighter of the year in 2014, among all his other accomplishments. But, um, I mean, I don't see Crawford losing this fight. I don't. So, um, but I'm still, I still know this is, this is going to be one of uh, Crawford's opponents that is going to take a lot of IQ, boxing IQ to, to, to beat Julius and Dongo. I believe this is, this will be Terrence Crawford hardest opponent that he that he's ever faced in his professional career. I agree on that. And uh Julius Ndongo's 22 and 0, 11 knockouts, so he has a 50 50% KO rating. He's fought 125 rounds and he is the IBO, WBA and IBF champion. He's 34 years old. He's a southpaw, 5'10 and a half is he has a um 71 and a half inch reach. And he is coming for the win. Um, he is not gonna play any games with ball, with um with with Bud. Uh, I believe Crawford cannot look past his fight, and I believe he's very he's a very intelligent fighter, and he's and he knows that he has a fight upon upon his hands, and um I believe this is gonna be a great fight, and um it could have I mean well not it could but. The conditioning on both of these fighters are going to have to be up to par because I never really seen Crawford get tired, and I never really seen um, Julius get tired. And Julius has a lot of movement; he always stays on his feet. After Ricky Burns fought Julius, and Ricky Burns lost, of course, lost his title. He said it was hard to catch him clean. That's what, and you know Julius was really quick on his uh, defense. On his defense, but um. Everybody knows how Terrence Crawford fights, um, and this 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 fight's gonna be different. Um, he usually stays on the outside and picks his opponent apart because he has um, a 
almost a two inch disadvantage in the reach department. I honestly think he should step inside and rough um, Julius and don't go up. I believe that would um, that would slow down Julius's pace. And uh, not not saying that he's he's a quick pace fighter, but he always moves. He he moves a lot. He moves he moves around a lot on defense. He's always on his toes. So and he likes fighting on on the outside. So I think um, it will surprise Julius Adongo if Terrence, Terrence Crawford did a, did a little bit of roughing up. And um, the power goes to Terrence Crawford. I believe Terrence Crawford is uh, stronger as far as punching power than Julius and Dongo. But um he's also not as fast too. I think um I think Terrence Crawford has a little edge on on the hand speed as well. But coming uh coming on coming into this fight, I hope it's gonna be no early stoppages. I hope the judge let him fight and allow these two warriors to actually earn all of this credit that they're about to receive at the end of this fight. Um, I hope they keep it clean. Um, I can't wait <laughs> until August 19th. But always like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.